Hello, and thanks for listening in. I'm Lindsay House, and I'm a licensing and recertification specialist with the Pesticide Licensing Program here with the Washington State Department of Agriculture. The purpose of this informational webinar is to provide an update on the proposed rulemaking involving our pesticide testing fees. WSDA is proposing an update to our general pesticide rules, the Washington Administrative Code 16-228-1540. You may have participated last November when we presented our first webinar on the proposed testing fee increase. That webinar includes a lot of background information and more of the why behind this proposed rulemaking. So if you missed that or would like a refresher, we recommend that you watch the recording of that webinar found on our webpage. You can find it from the pesticide licensing pages or go to agr.wa.gov and type pesticide licensing webinars into the search bar. In this presentation, we won't be going over much of the background that was covered in last year's webinars, but I will give just a very brief refresher. WSDA is proposing an update to our testing fee rules to help us come into contract with a vendor to allow us to offer computer-based testing. Computer-based testing is the direction that we want to go for many reasons, but we've had a few roadblocks preventing us from offering that service. Our current administrative code language limits our examination fee to $25, and we know that computer-based testing vendors require a higher fee for their services. We need to update and increase the examination fee that we're able to collect for computer-based exams in order to come into contract with a testing vendor. At the time of our last webinar in November, we weren't quite sure what our exact proposed rule language was going to be, so we would like to share that with you now. Here's what you may notice will be different. We split out the fee language for paper-based versus computer-based testing, so a different fee is specified for each type of exam. The new proposed language also states that WSDA may administer exams or contract with a vendor to allow for both options. This is to be consistent with our previous statute changes that allow vendors to administer exams and collect fees. There are also some really minor changes where we just clean up some language for consistency. Here is the current rule language that we are proposing to update. It states, an examination fee of $25 shall be paid prior to administration of any pesticide or structural pest inspector license examinations. As mentioned, our proposed updated language will split out fees for paper-based versus computer-based testing. So, our proposed update starts with what you see here. An examination fee of $25 shall be paid prior to administration of any paper-based pesticide or structural pest inspector license examination. The second section of our proposed language is specific to computer-based testing. So that reads, an examination fee of not more than $65 shall be paid prior to the administration of each computer-based pesticide or structural pest inspector license examination. So this section allows for a higher fee to be collected for computer-based exams and has set that as a maximum of $65 per exam. And that $65 fee in rule is actually an upper limit and not necessarily an exact amount. This exact fee will be determined by the contract we enter with the computer-based testing vendor. The rule language that clarifies that states, if a third-party entity administers a computer-based licensing examination, an applicant shall pay the examination cost established in the vendor's contract with the department, not to exceed the amount set in this section. The department will post this examination fee to its website. The last new section states that the director may administer the pesticide examinations, may contract with an examination or testing vendor to administer the exams, or both. So this language was to be consistent with our recent statute change and clarify that both WSDA and a testing vendor may administer exams. We've updated our expected timeline for going through rulemaking and ultimately moving forward to offer computer-based testing, so we want to share that new timeline as well. On June 22nd, the CR-102 for this rulemaking was filed. Then, July 26th, we have two public hearings planned, one at 9 a.m. and one at 2 p.m. These will be in a webinar platform as well, so if you'd like to participate and share your thoughts, please watch for those links. 
If this rulemaking is supported, we anticipate adoption this summer. And then through the fall, we will be requesting proposals from vendors and going through that process to choose a vendor and award the contract to a company to implement computer-based testing for us. From conversations we've had with vendors, it could take between six months to a year after awarding the contract to be able to have our exams converted into the new system and ready to roll out through the new computer-based option. We're doing what we can now to prepare for this, so we are optimistic for a relatively quick and smooth transition. We foresee having computer-based testing available either this winter or early 2023. That concludes the update to our testing fee rulemaking. If any questions or comments arise after this webinar concludes, please reach out. We're happy to talk more. The best email to send questions or comments about this rulemaking to is pestlicenseupdates at agr.wa.gov, but you can also contact me directly. I have my email and phone listed here also. Thanks again and take care.